Hello guys, welcome to the channel The Excellent Hacker. Today I'm going to solve uh, the box blaster from Try Hack Me. So before getting the walkthrough, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Okay, here is the room blaster. Let's open the site this Try Hack Me room blaster. Okay, and I'm going to solve the tax serial wise one after another. Okay, let's start from first one. Mission start. Okay, I deployed the machine. Okay, we got our IP. So let's uh, get to next task. This active forward scanners and launch proton torpedoes. The okay, first question is how many ports are open on our target system? Just run nmap scan. To do that, just type sudo nmap s sb to enumerate version dash sc to run default script in machine's ip so what was the ip okay just let it run but i'm not gonna do that as i have already done it so i'm just gonna cat the output so here is our nmap scan results so there are two ports open First one is this HTTP port and second one is this MS web server. Okay, let's get to next tax. It looks like there is a web server running. What is the title of the page we discover when you by browsing it? Okay, let's okay, let's open the so HTTP server. Let's click on the IP, it's running on port 80. Okay, it's IIS Windows Server. So third question is what hidden directory do you discover okay let's, let's run a uh, go bus scan to just type go buster dar that's u for url okay then that's w for word list user share word list draw buster i'm going to use this directory 2.3 small dot text okay i will give it around 300 and time out of around 50 second okay i think it's the correct syntax let's run it okay go buster found a directory slash retro so i think it's the hidden directory navigate to the hidden directory what potential username do you discover okay let's navigate to this directory i'm going to just stop the scan let's go to the directory okay it opens some sort of this retro fanatics page so let's check for possible username so it's probably weird or Chris, so uh, yeah, I think the user of the page is weird. So yeah, I've written a couple of blogs. Okay, we got the page. The next question is crawling through the post. It seems like our user have has had some difficulties logging in recently. What possible password do you discover? Okay, so I search for around 15 minutes so i'm not gonna show you that path so i i'm going to directly show you what i discover so this user word kind of left his uh, credentials in a comment in this ready player one so it's parzival So, so I think so in this poll we can see how that port 3389 it's open it's a remote desktop port so we can open our IDP session so and we also got our username and password for the 
account so i'm going to use remina so it's a a pre-install software in my parrot os so you can use any other so vnc software so remina is pre-installed so i kind of gonna use that copy my IP for the last port number okay it's 2389 so it asks for username and password so just enter the credits you found So, okay, we get a remote desktop session. So let's uh, get to next path. So we read user the text. Let's let's read the user the text file. We got a user flag. let's go to the next path breaching the control room so when enumerating machine it's often useful to look at what the user was last doing look around the machine and see if you find the cv which was reserved on this server what was it so we need to find possible exploit of this cv so let's search around a bit So at first sight also this file kind of stand out from rest of the files hsupd I don't, I don't know what it does so so let's search uh, in google okay this hsupd is a exploit so i googled a little bit and I found out that this HSUPD is exploit to so gain uh, this administrator access uh, using misconfigured user account control or UAC. So this uh, CB number is CB 2019-1388. So what is the name of this? executable file it's hsu pd slaves in the desktop okay let's exploit it i google around a little bit and just find out the proof, uh, proof of concept read a couple of uh, blogs on how to exploit it okay so it's pretty simple just open this file just click on the show more details and just click on show information about the publisher certificate and click on verify signature commercial software publisher CA okay I'll just close it it will open a explorer tab just wait a bit to open and now we are going to open a, a command session from this explorer so it's currently running on higher play privilege than another account so we need to actually open cmd session from the privilege uh, that is run by this explorer and then we'll get uh, administrator rights okay just to do that just click ctrl s it will pop up save page okay uh, this save web is a window pop up so just go to c 
सी सी विंडोज सिस्टम थर्टी टू एंड आई एम गोइंग टू यूज अ वाइल्ड कार्ड स्टार दट शाह विजिल सो ऑल द फाइल्स so it will not only show folders to save into it will also show dlls and uh, yeah, executable files so scroll below and open cmd so just click on it right, right click on it and just select open okay now we are actually administrator okay now let's get the root flag Okay, we got our root flag also. Is THM coin operated exploitation? This right idea. Now, this much in this video. Uh, and rest of the part is bunch of theory on how to use meta exploit module. I'm not gonna do that. Just thanks for watching it. And if there are any queries, leave them in the comment section below.